Hi friends, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. This is Shalija and my recipe today is a chicken mayo salad. Now this is an interesting recipe on two counts. One is it's a multi-purpose recipe as I like to call it. It's not only a salad but it can actually have various other uses. I'm going to show you how you're going to use it as an appetizer but it's a wonderful filling that you can actually use to put into sandwiches or wraps and it just tastes delicious. So let's take a look at some of the ingredients for this wonderful salad. Boneless chicken, finely chopped onions, chopped green onion, chopped red bell pepper, chopped green capsicum, corn kernels, mayonnaise, yogurt, bay leaves, peppercorns, pepper, French bread slices. Okay, now to begin this recipe, I want to show you a simple technique that I'm going to use to poach chicken. Poaching essentially is cooking the meat. In this case, I'm using the chicken in water. But the idea here is that you want to gently bring the water to a boil and the entire process is fairly slow. That way the chicken cooks slowly and it retains all its moisture and you have delicious tender chicken. So I have some water here on my stove and I'm going to add the boneless chicken breasts to this. And to flavor this you could use any of your kitchen aromatics. I have chosen to use some bay leaves and I am going to add some peppercorns. Now the water I have used is just regular room temperature and I am starting to poach this on a medium high and once this comes to a boil we are going to turn it down really slow and cover it and let it simmer for at least 14 to 15 minutes till you get a delicious tender chicken. So there you go, we have got this wonderful boneless breast here. So I am just going to go ahead and add these chicken pieces. You could even chop it into uh, finer pieces if you like. But I just wanted to show you how easily this shreds off because it is so moist and cooked beautifully. And like I said the chicken takes no more than about 15 minutes. So this is good now. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to now go ahead and add some of the rest of the ingredients. So I am going to add in some chopped spring onions. Uh, I am using both the white and the green parts. I am going to add the chopped red onion, peppers, so some nice red peppers in here and some of the green capsicum as well, corn kernels just before serving and it tastes delicious. So I am just going to give this a nice mix. Now I mentioned to you earlier on that we are actually making it into a healthier version. So of course one does love the flavours of mayonnaise in a salad. So I am going to add mayonnaise to it. But the key trick here to make it slightly healthier is to reduce the amount of mayonnaise and add a little bit of yogurt. So what I have done here is I have just drained out the water from the yogurt so it is thickened a little bit and we will just take this out into a bowl and just give it a mix. This just reduces the amount of mayonnaise that you are using in case you are watching your weight and your calories and it tastes just as delicious. So I am going to just add this in here and we will mix this all up nicely. Okay, so I am just going to season this with some pepper and a dash of salt. So feel free, you may just serve this as it is. It goes delicious as a filling in sandwiches or like in the recipe for today where I am going to just serve it over some bruschetta bread and it will be served as an appetizer. So I am just going to spoon this up onto our bread. Now 
So here we go, we've got this delicious salad which I've added on to our bruschetta bread and this is ready to go and you can just serve this as an appetizer and I'm just going to have put some of the balance of our green onion as a garnish on top of this ready to be eaten. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and do make this up. It's a simple filling which can be used in so many different ways. Happy cooking always. So if you like our videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay connected and happy cooking.